Okay, so number two is going to be topping up your screen wash. Obviously, visibility is pretty important when you're driving a car. Um, so, knowing how to top that up so you can keep your windows nice and clean. There's no water coming out of my one, so it's probably a problem. So, you generally have a lever down towards the driver's side door. Mine's down there. Sometimes they'll be underneath the steering wheel, might be marked in orange. Um, so, pull your lever, open your bonnet. All cars have slightly different mechanisms to open the bonnet, so just look in your manual, manual if you're unsure, and then there's your screen wash. So it might have a blue cap, it might have a yellow cap, all slightly different, but that symbol will be the same on each one. So there you go. Nice blue liquid in there, that's your screen wash. Mine does need topping up, but it should be working. So that's where it's located. Obviously, once you've topped it up, Put your cap back on so you don't lose fluid everywhere. Push for it, and then uh, that's where it is. There you go, screen wash working as it should be. So, pretty important. The life and soul of an engine is the engine oil uh, located to check the levels with a dip dipstick. The dipstick could either be red or yellow uh, indicated. Do this again with the car on level ground. You'll probably need to uh, give that a wipe. Um, so, Wipe your stick, put it back in, and then obviously you want to leave it in there for a couple of seconds, put it back out, and then you can check the level. As long as it's between the maximum and minimum, then you're okay. If it's not, then put some engine oil in. Obviously the symbol for the engine oil is that. Um, if, you're, if it's below, I mean, I'd at least put in a couple of litres at a garage just to keep the engine going. Um, and again, obviously you can check when the engine's cool and on level ground to uh, check your level. And you want to obviously get that level to within the range. You can check your quantity of your car in the owner's handbook. Um, but as I say, that's key to the running, running of any engine. Engine oil is vital. Um, and obviously you can check in the manual for which one. I generally use a, a synthetic oil, fully synthetic. Uh, I think it's a 1040 watt, I'll put up a screenshot. Okay, something else to check is your brake fluid. So it's normally filled up with dot .4. Uh, I'll put a screenshot up of that. And uh, you normally have like a minimum and a maximum. So obviously just make sure you're between that range, ideally on the maximum. Then lastly, only when the engine is cold, I must say. Um, never ever do this when it's hot because it could explode and go in your face. So really like health and safety on that one. So obviously this engine's cold. Check your radiator fluid. You normally get a little light come up on the screen. I'll give you a, a screenshot of the symbol. Uh, and you normally have something like that sticking out. Um, looks like a little bit too much in there, but best to have too much than not enough. So there's your radiator thing. Must reliterate only when cold you can uh, access that. So make sure it's screwed back up nice and tight. And they are your key fluids to check on your car. Okay, thanks for watching the video.